Hey everybody, MovieFanZ here. So the movie I'm going to be reviewing for you today actually came out in June of this year, and that is The Black Phone, directed by Scott Derrickson. So the year is 1978, and the main character in this is Finney, a young man who has heard stories of a care of the guy known as the grabber who has kidnapped young children and eventually has murdered them so finney is grabbed and we're along for the ride and the interesting thing is there's a black phone that is disconnected on the wall, but yet Finney is able to have conversations with the past victims of the grabber. So we're along for the ride and seeing, is he going to escape? Unlike the others. So I mentioned Scott Derrickson. He did, he also directed 2016's Doctor Strange, 2012 Sinister, and 2008's The Day of the Earth Stood Still. Now let's get to the cast. You have Mason Thames, who plays Finney. You have Madeline McGraw, who plays Gwen, who is his younger sister, who has a storyline kind of with dreams. And that's all I'm going to say. And then you have Ethan Hawke, uh, <coughs> Ethan Hawke who plays the Grabber. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I had heard nothing good about this movie. And the trailer didn't excite me. And the story at first didn't really grab me. But the main reason I'm watching this is because it's part of a house at Halloween Horror Nights. So, I decided I would watch it. And I will have to say... I am pleasantly surprised. This exceeded all expectations for me. <coughs> this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. The main three characters are really done, really done well. Uh, it's creepy and uh, uh, unsettling. I liked the story. And the last thing is, it's engaging. It makes you want to keep watching to see what happens next. I also don't have any major big issues with this movie. Maybe at times it drags a little bit, but it's not very noticeable. But at least, in a way, you get to go in the backstories of some of these characters as well. So overall, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Again, was not looking forward to this at all. And I thought it was going to be a waste of time. Ended up really enjoying it. So that is my review for The Black Phone. Come back next time for another review. This is MovieFanZ signing off. Have a good night.